exactly right. And, and Juwan understands now. He has to come out as a starter. You come out, you have to get yourself involved in the game early to stay in the flow. If you come out sluggish, you end up not playing that well because you get out of the flow of the game. And he'll be much more aggressive, I believe, tonight. Of course, we'll come to you in HD, brought to you by Hyundai. And thank you, as always, for joining us here on Fox Sports Ohio. Don't forget to have that challenge by Hickson. Good D. And the Cavaliers get a stop to begin the ball game. Yeah, well, they came right out trying to go right at J.J. right away, trying to get Duncan off to a good start. But he's a better standstill shooter from that, deep, from that particular position. Jameson matched up with McDuffie's. Ginobili on partner. Hey, they give up there. Dribble penetration. That was the key right there. Is to make sure if you can beat your man, that forces another guy to come help out. And nice pass by AP. And JJ throws the hammer down. Here comes George Hill. Nice story for them in year two. Started some games last year for Tony Parker. But sends it for three. Well, oh, see, you can't let Ginobili go off. You got to force him to get. Put the ball on the floor and force him to his right side because you cannot let him get into a rhythm because that will make up for the lack of not having Parker. Two-man game, Jamison and Mo Williams. Antoine for three. Well, that's how you answer. You come right back with your own three-pointer. And the Gooses are back. Take that, Brandon Jennings. 5-3 yes. <laughs> is that Cavalier lead. Defense. Defense. Back to cut Ginobili, straight, but there's a reach in foul on the Cavs. And Ginobili will go to the free throw line. Oh, oh. 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 Duncan did a good job here, drop passing, and, and good move by Ginobili to move it off the basketball. Have a lot of two shots. Quick move inside, Cavaliers have to come from the weak side to help out. So Williams picking up that reach in foul. going without that shoulder sleeve. And I think he's glad just to uh, not have to wear it. Doctors gave him the choice, and so he's uh, back to normal with his uh, shoulders. So let's see if we're a little bit. When you're injured like that, a lot of times when you, when you start out slow, you have to do something to get your mind back into right, the, the positive state of mind. And that's what he's trying to do right now by not wearing it. So five apiece. As the tournament results send a swipe for J.J. Hickson. Now they want to look to get out and open for run this team. Take the pressure off of their half-court game. Turnover right there. Pass was behind J.J. Hill to the hole. And it's 7-5 oh, yeah. San Antonio. Hill's averaging almost 12 points a game. And again, their offense will run, will run so much different without Ginobili. If you stay in front of these guys, you can really cause them problems because they're used to having Parker disrupt defenses. Hickson, some space. Nope. Rebound. Easy one for Antoine Jameson. So a reset shot clock. Parker off the bounce. Hickson gathering inside. Wood strength. It dripped out somehow. Antonio coming off a win over Memphis the other night. They had one four in a row. It's sort of an up and down season for them. Yeah, but they, they, are, they are playoff proven and playoff built. This team would be a much better team in the playoffs. Here comes Duncan on the back down. Ginobili knocked it down for three. Picking up where he left off a couple of years ago because you may recall his season ended here last year when he had this stress reaction in his leg and he was done. And that it came in the month of April. Well, if you're going to double down on Tim Duncan in that position, you're playing right into their hands with the double down. You've got to come in and you have to use an extra guy from the weak side to stop that play. Jamison teased up. And knocks it down again for three. He looks like he's on fire now. He's going to force McDyke away from the basket. And that's a good sign. There's another rebound taken out of the play. And 20, 34% plus shooter outside the arc. 10 8. McDyke on the screen and flare. Normally he hits that shot. Almost tipped in by Duncan. Now he's had a couple of 20 plus rebound games this year. Mo Dancing. Couldn't shake Hogan's. He's probably their best perimeter defense. On the back down hard. Antoine Jameson. No bust in by Houston. Good follow up by JJ. Antoine doing a good job of forcing JJ's man to come to him to help out. And then JJ throws the hammer down. There's LeBron. 
But good move by Jamison to force the switch inside, and JJ does exactly what he should do. Goes to the front of the ring. Ten apiece. As you know, goes back to work. He's finally healthy. The jab step, and he hits him. But that's what he wants to do. I'd rather have him do that than to give him that left side when he has everything at his disposal. Right there, he likes that bump with the fallaway jump shot. But eventually, he wants to get to his left, doesn't he? Yeah, he wants to go to his left. But he is very clever with the right hand, that being said. Yeah, but he, he always does that same shot pretty much all the time. Parker, the crossover, green space, knocked it down nicely. Good to see MP come out aggressive. Use your two guard, you got to score. Go out and look for your shot. So we're tied at 12 apiece. Almost five minutes in here. Duncan with Nixon on the island now. The trap applied by Duarte Williams. Ginobili finally missed one. Easy rebound the ball. Looking at three black shirts. Sends it. And hits it. Good to see him Keep his feet under him. Keep, I told him before the game, keep your body under control. Keep your legs under you. 14, 12, you're talking balance basically, right? Basically, yes. Ginobili on that catch. Had to give it up because of the double team. McDuck's missed another one from there. He was normally money from 15 to 18 feet. Mo goes to work. And a ball flow! Welcome back, Mo Williams! Mo coming out aggressive now, looking to take his shot. Get him down the floor quickly. Nobody in the league can stop him when he's attacking the basket like that. As a result, LeBron and his pals with a surge here with LBS, a spectator right now. 11 2 is his Cavalier run as Mo Williams has dropped in a pair of hoops. We'll be back in a moment. And of course, wins. We'll see where they rank home in a row. The Cavaliers have a good time. Four of the five starters have scored. The San Antonio, only two scores, starters have scored, with Ginobili having ten of the points. Defensive three-second line. Defensive three seconds. As Richard Jefferson comes off their bench, ditto Matt Bonner. We'll see that that happens because everybody's trying to help out on Duncan. And, and, and until Duncan starts to hit three or four shots in a row, I wouldn't. Do, I would. I would hedge with him. I would not go, actually go and, and try and double team. I'd let him see if he can, if he's hitting tonight. So Ginobili now, a quick start has 11. Duncan setting up shop on the block. Good test for Hickson here. Jamison committed the double down. Good rotation to Bonner. Excellent rotation as it turned out, but a heck of a shot. Yeah, that was a heck of a shot, but that was a great defense by the Cavaliers, though. They did a good job. They forced it. AP closed out perfectly, but he made a better shot. Sometimes you have to get offense quick. If you want Bonner to put it on the floor, but he made right. a tough shot. Exactly. And a moving screen foul on the Cavaliers. Offensive foul on the Cavaliers, number 21. JJ, JJ Hickson. Hickson. His first personal. So no give it back to the split. Ball. San Antonio on a pace right now to win 49 games. They've had 10 straight years in which they've won at least 53. Here comes Ginobili off that high two-man game. Almost skidded that kick pivot game. Dunk it off the box. And he hit it. Tim Duncan. But they're going to have them. In other words, that's where Parker would normally be. At the two-man game out front. So they, but Ginobili is not as quick as Parker and he can't beat his man. So they, they use a different, they do more to pick and pop instead of the pick and roll. Yeah, as they hit five of the last six shots as they go back to work. Dunk down to Hickson. Against the premier defender for JJ to the hole. Couldn't finish it. And a great first step. Mike Brown applauding the effort. It was more often than not, he'll finish that shot. Here comes George Hill off the screen and hit it. Much improved jump shooter this year. George Hill in year two of his NBA career. 16. Well, gets up. Jameson. Jameson's Jameson's moved by Jameson. He moved and stint to the lane, more to the basket, which gave more a much better angle over the top of the two fingers. He's using his subtleties, right? Yes. 19-18 Spurs as they go back to work. Duncan. Line drives it home. Duncan. How many of those has he hit in his own? Oh, man. Thousands. <laughs> I mean, he is quite some player. 21-18. Shaq, of course, dumped in the big fundamental, and that nickname is stuck over the years. Got a foul on Bonner away from the basketball. Well, what you have is a 
great player with super fundamentals. That makes him a super player. <laughs> Anthony Parker leaving the floor as he uh, jammed a finger, we believe. With the ball coming inside, you can see right there. Oh, yeah. His hand was braced to receive the ball, and the ball hit him at the wrong time. Mo Williams looking more for his shot tonight. Attacking the basket, looking to take care of his business at first, and then the team second. But he had to get himself off first in order to go without LeBron. That's a great point, AC. Here comes Delonte with three reinforcements, including Darius. Oh. Juwan Williams puts it up, take it away, he says, Zach Zerba. Mike Brown says, oh, are you kidding me, Zach? Are you sure, Zach? Can you change your mind, Zach? <laughs> Please, Zach, change your mind. <laughs> Good pass by Delonte, but... He was right there waiting. I mean, he was in front of the line, but, but because he was there, yeah, but they're not going to let they're not going to let you have that. What's that? That, that push. Oh, they're not going to let you have that because he was there before the offensive player got there. The Mike Reason Lee partners has seen that as well. But what was the call? <laughs> <laughs> the referee has the final word. The referee word. has the final word. <laughs> Get the defense there. Track. Jump ball. Jump right. ball. Indeed, Anderson bears out and Jefferson. The Cavaliers are attacking the pick and rolls tonight, early in the ball game, forcing San Antonio to have to move the ball on the offensive level. And what this does is scrambles your offense when you attack them like that. Ronnie Blair and Roger Mason off that San Antonio bench, which again is the top scoring bench in the NBA, 40 points a game. Hit, turn the court. Better move there to draw the contact. And the first they get in the way there, but he's moving there right there. Hits him with the hip, goes in line, two shots. With two shots, George Hill. So here comes Hill. And a little IUPUI. Division one school, but a mid major. As he misses the first of, of two. <laughs> And let's take a look at tonight's league leaders brought to you by Budweiser. We're talking about plus minus per game. As LeBron James led the NBA a year ago over 10 plus a game. And you can see he and Andy one and two. And it speaks volumes, of course, of the best teams where the best individual players are point differential. Delonte was number two in the NBA a year ago behind the king. You see, all those little things like that mean a lot when, it, when, you, when those guys not in the ball game. Because that really what makes your team, that makes your team go positive or negative. Here comes Harris. Oh, oh, oh. Got him a bird. Ripped it in. And he's looking for the end one. Well, he was looking for Anderson to come back with the hook shot. Anderson decided to go the other way. He takes the ball, gets the bird, and knocks it in. Let's go. See right here, they see him definitely getting himself ready for the hook shot. Didn't work, but we're going to Buffalo Wild Wings. Hey. That's close enough. That's close enough. <laughs> Bonner ripped down the miss. 22 on the scoreboard. Step out by Jameson. Bonner reset that screen, but he slipped this time. Bonner again on the deck. Had to give it up. Hill in the teeth of the defense. Bonner kind of a front row. Get bricked that he That was a side whip. Here comes Juwan Williams on a great Juwan. catch and an even better pass by Mo Williams. Cavaliers are looking for all fast break opportunities to take the pressure off of their half court, half court execution without LeBron out there. LeBron or Shaq. LeBron couldn't have thrown that pass any better than Mo did right there. Here's Mason missed it. The rebound surrounded by white shirts. Cavaliers looking to run off all opportunities. Delonte. Hey. The Cavaliers looking to get out in open flow. Right now, it's a jailbreak to them in. I think they can beat this team in transition tonight. Oh, yeah, because they are very slow. And again, when you don't have your leader out there, like, like Tony Parker, it makes a huge difference how you execute your plays. But you made a great point, AC, a moment ago, how Mo Williams getting himself established first and then starting to look for other guys in roots. That's the key, because he's been waiting, laying back, and not getting himself involved. But they did a good job of passing the ball, keeping your head up. And Which he does so well. Mason. And his scoring drop off this season. Lee Christian now off the bench. Out of Oregon. 
Here comes Devontae West with a steal with Verja. Two on three, and he ran. Tried to finish, but he traveled. Traveled. Joe Crawford. He needed to put it on the floor, but the defender was coming up behind him, and he felt it, so he tried to take it right to the basket without a pass. Let's see if we can get an update. Without a dribble. Excuse me, let's see if we can get an update on Anthony Parker. Jeff Phelps, anything? He's back out on the floor, Fred, but has a dislocated left ring finger. The finger was put back into place, bandaged up. He's good to go. So here's the Mystics. You see, because of the injury to Parker, you have different guys in the game earlier. Harrison coming in the game a lot earlier than what he's used to. Things change out there. So it's a four-point Cavalier lead and a San Antonio oh, foul. Well, he comes there. His first, team's first foul at the final two minutes. Speaking of dislocated digits, Sean Elliott, who does color commentary on the left with Bill Lamb, his pinky finger on his left hand, I think it's his left hand. It's still disfigured. It's, it, it, it's like a hump. It, wow. It was never repaired. Never repaired. Very well. Bershaw puts it up, and he drew the contact in the foul. Anderson and, 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 and Delonte have found something here. That's the third time they've done that. The pick and roll. This time from the top of the key. Nice move here. Nice pass by Delonte. Good catch by Anderson. Goes to the line. Two shots. So the foul on Matt Barner, his second. And he sticks the first of two, so give him four points now. Hey, Cavs fans, it's time to put a DiGiorno pizza in the oven. Official pizza of the Cavaliers and Quicken Loans Arena, available in your grocer's freezer. In fact, yeah. you've got some days off now. You can, you can really spread out that pizza now. Yeah, I can have a, yeah I'm, I'm having a good time with it, too. <laughs> it sounds like nobody else is invited. No, this is a party by myself. <laughs> But you're the life of that play. Yeah. Left side on the smash attempt by Jan Mahimi, and he was fine. You see that in the ball game. That, that was a missed defensive assignment there because he had rolled to the basket, nobody getting in his way. Right here, he comes all the way from the top of the key, all the way to the basket, nobody gets to him before he dumps. Right there, that's a blown defensive assignment. Mahimi, a third-year guy out of France. Finally healthy, finally getting a chance to play a little bit this season. A guaranteed seats to this year's playoffs with 2010-11 early bird season tickets. Get the best available seat locations for the playoffs and take advantage of flexible payment plans as well. Seats are limited, so call 800-820-CAVS or visit CAVS.com today. 28-23, good guys with the basketball and the lead. A little miscommunication there between Anderson and Moe. Again, he, the turnover for the camp. It's amazing how so many things change when you just miss one guy. I mean, just, it throws everybody off. You have to get used to different cadence, different everything. Especially when that guy is 23. Yeah, and he does so much for your team. Mason set his feet, rattled it out. So that typifies his season when he's going up and down. Four wings has bottom him. The step back. Brings out to Heston. But that's what he had to do. Look for himself. Get himself going. Then you can start distributing the ball. But Mo has to score for this team. Mason on the give up. Ginobili, good catch. Quickly put up a three. three. In one motion. Yeah, he's so, so, he has good leverage on the basketball. So it doesn't take much to get it up there when you have good leverage on the ball. So Ginobili basically in back-to-back -back quarters in this building going back to two years ago because he hardly played in that game a year ago here. 18 that night as a part of his 46 and 14 points in the quarter here. But the Q is a great shooting builder. And as a shooter, he loved to play in the Q. Joy Williams going hard to the hole, couldn't finish it. And a 24-second violation one because of no rim. Joe Crawford says add 1.3 to the clock. So 6.9 to go in this first quarter. Greg Popovich's teams have been very good defensively throughout his tenure, but this year they've fallen off a little bit in that department. Yeah, Ginobili comes down the floor. He had to give it up. Mahini, no. And that will finish the opening 12 minutes. After one quarter play, the score, your Cavaliers, 28. So Ginobili getting his second start of the season. He loves coming off the bench, but pressed into duty because Greg Popovich feeling with no Tony Parker now, he may have to mend some, some things for the rest of the regular season. And he responded in that first quarter with a big-time effort with 14, hitting four of five from the floor, including three triples.
who sees them always out in force here the nine at the queue. Cavaliers plus two after one. Child and the only other dunk I think that's better than that one is the one against the Pistons against the Celtics in the playoffs a uh, year ago. In this building, as a matter of fact, as J.J. Hickson goes to work, and again, he traveled, so take away the hook. J.J. had him problem putting the ball on the floor. He had to get comfortable with putting the ball on the floor, being able to make one or two dribbles, and then expose to a shot. Daniel Gibson's on the floor for the Cavaliers. First time he has played now since the middle of February. Of course, the birth of his child, two along the way. As Malik Hurston climbed that ladder on the weak side. Somebody on the weak side did not put a body on him. Willie Gibson, Delonte West in the backcourt. It's Farish now, Moon, and Hickson up front. Delonte, lefty on lefty. As he goes to work, missed it. And we got two talls. It turned out for Hickson. They've got Mason, Hairston, Genobi, Jefferson, and Mahoney. Pass behind Mahoney, and he was out of bounds. Out of bounds. So the Cavs get it back. Cavs shoots 63% from the floor in the first quarter compared to San Antonio's 47%. Spurs came into the ball game in a quarter field goal percentage, 13th, and that is not like that. And it gets it. Sure makes it three. Rebound to Mahoney. He's got good legs, as you can see, at 6'11", 230. 28 apiece. Mason. Missed it. Rebound to JJ. Delonte caught Hairston peeking. Goes to work inside. And he was stuck. Delonte using that extra speed coming off the wing here. Nice little slow dribble, and all of a sudden burst into the to the basket. He gets opportunity for two shots. When you see the defender, is he looking for a screen? Is that when you instantly go? Well, you, you could almost see as soon as he shifted his body, you make your move. And Delonte realized it as soon as he shifted like that, like he was trying to keep him from going over the screen, like you said, then you make your move because he's out of position right there. Foul is indeed on a hair stick. Hey, this Tuesday is Wing Tuesday at your Buffalo Wild Wings. Save big on every order of award-winning wings and your choice of 14 sauces. Dine in or carry out. Buffalo Wild Wings, it's your home for big screen, Cavs basketball, and Wing Tuesday. And, and that's why it's so important to be able to dribble the ball with both hands. Because if a left-handed player in that position, if he couldn't cross over to his right side, he'd never been able to take advantage of that opportunity. Delonte, as we know, does it so well. We need to keep as does you know. Most lefties are kind of strange to play against anyway. Mahimi shuffled the shoes. Give it back to the Cavaliers off the treble violation. And again, they made Ginobili go to his right. He took, takes one or two dribbles and he looks for the, the, the pull-up shot, but he's not going to continue to attack the basket going to that right side. JJ forced a switch on the roll inside. Has Ginobili on him. See if they can get it to him. Daniel Gibson on a hard drive. Off balance, missed it. Rebound. It's going to be San Antonio's. That's Ginobili. One man to beat is Jamario Moon. Ginobili, no! Flipped out of there by Hickson. Jamario did a good job of guarding that right and left side. Just bothered that shot just enough. Just enough. Here comes J.J. He had a mouth in the house. Turned inside against Mason. And it goes out of bounds off Hickson. So those are Landis Poole. He got a little guy inside, and he turned, and when he turned, he was too far into the basket. He really didn't have an angle. Once he turned right there, he was a little bit too much under the basket. Couldn't quite explode up through the play. Well, Mason with a good strip, and then J.J. knocked it down. And that's going to be a street set foul, offensive foul, on Jan Mahimi. And this is why you go over top of the pick, even if you're late. Because it forces the defender. Here's Booby here, this pick is set in. By going over the top, that forced that defender to have to make an extra move to Booby. And that's what you do inside and outside. You go over the top of the pick, even if you're late. You moved my chair, partner. I'm sorry, partner. I just want to show you what it's like going over the pick. You went over top. That's great. <laughs> Big time. And he said, if you're going to give me the shot and let me fix it, then I'm going to make it. Nice shot by Andy. 32-28. Two 
this game has quite a bit of interest. In the South American countries with Barry Zhao and Ginobili. Those big time roles in the center tonight. Ginobili to the hole. Blocked from behind, but there's some contact. Says along this pool. He made that call way away from the play, but he had a good angle. Foul by down there, number 17, Anderson Benichow. His second personal. And the foul on Verichau, his second. Let him go to his strong side. You're going to have trouble. Ginobili going left. The hard man to stop when he goes left. Make him go to his right. Freak, and it's all good news in terms of Stucky's prognosis. They say he is normal, and uh, they'll probably know in the next 48 hours when he might be able to come back. And, of course, had that uh, harrowing uh, incident the other night that uh, concerned all of us as we watched him uh, collapse in front of that Detroit bench. It's good to hear that uh, the young man is back stable now and uh, you know, headed back towards recovery and get himself together for him and his family. Yeah, that, was, that was a scary moment. And Max Benton, the athletic trainer yes. for the Cavs, the, the Pistons gave kudos to Max and the medical staff. He leaped into action. In fact, uh, Max was given an ovation when he came back from the locker room because they had all seen how quickly he responded. And in those instances, you don't know what, uh, what the outcome could be. So it's uh, yeah, the quicker you get there, the better yeah. off. And, you know, you take your head off to Max. He's one of the best in the league, but he's a true professional. Oh, if he can get that shot down, I'm telling you, Fred, this young man will be an all-star. Able to catch the ball and shoot it in open space. Jeremy did that with regularity in the preseason. 34-30. Here comes Duncan on the back down. Jamario Moon committed a double. Ginobili on the reset. Duncan missed it. Rebound in traffic to Marajal. Cavaliers come on with it. Did they try to repost Duncan, trying to get him started. Hits it, given space by DeJuan Blit. The rookie out of Pittsburgh. Delonte West serving. Up top, intended for Hickson. And some contact from the backside. Let's see who they give the foul to. And it's on DeJuan Blair. The second personal, second team foul. Let's take a look at our McDonald's home loving it. That would be J.J. knocking it down. Yes, turn and face your opponent and rise up and let it fly. And once he gets that in his game, he will be a tough man to stop because he'll be able to put the ball in the floor with ease. Delonte West knew he was going to get hammered. Went with authority, and he will shoot a pair. And Mike Brown loving that hard-nosed play. A great crossover dribble by Delonte. He's been playing super for the Cavaliers. It takes him to the office and lays it up. Opportunity. Oh, yeah, he got him a, a bird on the ground that time. Good move by LeBron by uh, Delonte to the hoop. Draws a foul, two shots. Uh, Delonte hitting that maple hard as he knocks down the first of two. Coming off that simulating effort the other night. 27 points against the Bucks in a losing call. Well, he was, he was unbelievable. He played a great ball game. He and... And Antoine basically were the only two scores the Cavaliers had in that whole game that really got it together. If they could have found one more score, they would have beat that team, I believe. But Blair has picked up the three quick fouls in three minutes. He's not going to last very long at that rate. No, he won't. <laughs> He'll be out in six minutes. He'll learn. He'll learn with the back off. You know, the opposite hand, Jameson knocked it away. And that's the key, Fred. They force him to his right side. Down the floor, up top. Jamario, too tall for him. As Delonte had the right idea. Yeah, he'd have to be, uh, had springs in his legs to make that work. There's Mason again. Spins it out. Duncan back up and down. And Duncan on the follow up. 36 32. So Duncan has six points. Kicks it spinning. Getting inside. Couldn't get it to go. Got to keep attacking, though, right? You, you know, you have to go. You have to attack. Let's see. Ginobili, a teardrop to go. He goes to that left side, man. He is a hard man to stop. And he's good at getting to his left side. Duncan set a nice little screen for Ginobili. And, of course, those guys know each other so well. That little herky-jerky style that the Argentine displays. Something that Delonte West, of course, is very good at as well. This eventually look at this knocking the bat down and then grabbing the little critter. It was okay at the time, he got a standing ovation. But the problem is, eventually, the bat 
flew off probably to some haunted house somewhere, and as a result, Ginobili has had to endure, he's done with it now, a bunch of rabies shots, which are very painful, and uh, had he had to do it all over again, I don't know if he would have done it, but nonetheless, and then ironically, about, I don't know, six, eight weeks later in his homeland in Argentina, the church of which he belongs was infested with bats. <laughs> so the bats had the, the bat, final word. Yeah, the bats are following him around. What are the odds of that? We'll get you back, you know. Monte <laughs> Weston to give up. Ball screen to Jameson. Wide open three. Sticks it again. He has hit three triples tonight. Cavaliers on a good out of ball movement. Mo did a good job of giving himself up. And uh, Antoine knocks it down. 39 34 is at Cavaliers advantage. Their biggest spread has been six so far. Duncan with good footwork. Hickson anticipated the move. Ginobili, look out. For three. Right. And that's right he's got in the first half. 21 points. You see, again, he's going out with one of those games that it makes it dangerous. When he's scoring like that, he makes up for the absence of Parker. Jamison squares up. Couldn't get that one to go. A rebound fought for J.J. Hickson hustling. Has to leap over the fans and does so a la LeBron James. That was a good hustle by J.J. not to give up on the play. Almost got the turnover. Jumping J.J. <laughs> J.J. is good in second effort. Nobody else on the board but J.J. Good hustle by J.J. Able to get over the, the fans and not get himself in. Good hard hurdle by J.J. How hard is that to do? Well, as long as you know where the fans are, you can get over. If you can jump that high. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Otherwise, you're not going to work beers and popcorn. Right, exactly. Ginobili almost walked. The nice line step back doesn't go. The rebound kept alive by Duncan. Hogan's peeled it off. And then a reach in Cavalier 5. It's on Anthony Parker, who's back out there, so good to see that. Second chance opportunity. You have trouble when you give this team too many of those. Because this is a very smart basketball team. They know how to use what they have. They don't have a lot like they used to have in the past, but they know how to use exactly what they have. And how about Ginobili here tonight? So far with the 21 points. You, well, you're going to do him. Two more men, you got to do him like the bat, like he did the bat. You got to swat him. Well, that time he flew inside, and Ginobili has 23. Yeah, well, whoever's guarding him needs to get physical with the young man or something, or make him go to his right side as much as possible. Somebody get a bat? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Louis Bo Slugger inside. Mo oh, Williams on that soft touch. Yes, Mo's looking for himself now. And then whatever happens off of that, then you look for your teammates. But Mo, when he's Scoring, that's when he's at his best. 41-39 as we continue to go back and forth. These two defensive-minded teams throwing plenty of offense through the night. Duncan rolled inside, didn't get it. Jefferson on the give up. He's still learning how to play with Duncan in the play. As Duncan hooks it home. 41 apiece. Well, they always have an outlet with Duncan in the middle because it's JJ. They just always, when the play doesn't work, throw it down to Timmy. Delonte kept at bay by Bogans and his strength. Delonte inside, trying to sneak it up, but Duncan was there. Ball goes out of bounds, still belongs to the Cavs. Six on the shot clock. Delonte, Delonte trying to get inside. One hit, JJ, but he didn't have the right angle. And Tim Duncan right there for the help on the defensive end of the floor. Duncan, one of four players in NBA history with 20,000 points, 10,000 plus rebounds, 2,000 plus career blocks, and over 3,000 assists. Hitting the soul that had to look that up as Virgil misses it. And back come the Spurs. Still tied at 41. Jefferson on the give up. Bogans. Just a three try. Here comes Monk. Surveys. Steps into a long one. Missed it. But that's the shot he has to take. He's in his rhythm. That's his shot. Shoot it. Whoa. Outside, George Hill to the hole. That was quick. He's definitely got that. The premier score at IUPUI. First round draft pick of these guys in 08. 43 41 Spurs. Jameson. Inside, and he gets Jefferson. Nobody can guard him because his steps is so quick. You expect him to put the ball on the floor. He takes one long step with that drop step, and he's into the shot immediately. He's sealed off Jefferson. 
and scored that ball before he received it, if you know what I mean. It's all about fundamentals, being able to use them. Long step inside, bang, it's good. The mobile halftime report right now. Let's get you back out to the game. Once upon a time, first overall pick. I don't know if Sean would hold up his hand, but his, his pinky finger literally, it looks like it's going over <laughs> over water, over a bridge. <laughs> yeah, when you don't get them uh, attended to right away, they, they, they get deformed. Let's uh, bring in Jeff Phelps. Any news on Mo? He's been wearing that brace on that left ring finger, guys, for a couple of games now. And Max Benton taking a good look at Mo, and then after Max was finished, and they kind of adjusted it a little bit, Mo was kind of messing with the finger, so it apparently it is pretty tender for Mo Williams out there right now. It occurred on a reach-in drive a moment ago by George Hill when he scored. Here comes Duncan. Hey, hey, hey. Do a double team. Jefferson hops inside with strength. Well, he went to match that one. And Richard Jefferson with one of the free throw line. And see, this is how you use your low post presence. Tim Duncan is forcing the Cavaliers to have to double down, and everybody's cheating towards him, and that's opening up driving lanes to the basket for the guys on the weak side. Gets an opportunity inside, tries to be physical, and does exactly what he should do, attack the rim. Jefferson scoring is down this year. He first played in systems before where it was predicated on movement where he could slash, and he's had to learn how to play off Tim Duncan in a late scenario. Hey, Cavs, Monsters, Gladiators, and the Mac Championship get five games in one great package with a Q Arena Sports Pack. Sports Pack started just $127 and are available for a limited time only. Get yours today by calling 800-820-CAVS or go to Cavs.com. So it's 44-43 as Richard Jefferson gets his first points. He's fronting the post this time against Jamison. Bogut's is 6'5", giving up four inches. Jamison spins into double trouble. And he quickly got it up, sensing that contact was going to come as Bogans was bordering on getting a foul anyway. Yeah, well, well, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to rough him up a little bit by being physical with him. And as soon as he gets the ball in the low post, the guy's coming in from the weak side. You see him right here, and this man will commit to him also. They try to get him there, but he was able to draw the foul before he could get there. But they're trying to ruffle up his feathers right now. Bogans. Described by Manu Ginobili as a pain-in-the-butt defender. He will play you physically. Assessing, basically, taking the role of Bruce Bowen, who, of course, is retired. Hey, tonight's state of majors of the game are Chris Winkleman of Medina and Larry Vassilo Parma. State Farm providing insurance and financial services like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. And Bruce Bowen, one of the finest perimeter defenders, really, you could say, in the history of the NBA, the way he played. Opposing threes and twos. George Hill inside. Going to get into the hole. So Hill has eight. We're tied up at 44 apiece. See, if they're going to shoot like that towards Antoine, somebody's got to be over on the weak side. Volante looking inside for Antoine. And another foul on Bogans. First foul, foul number 10, Keith Bogans. His first. See it? He's playing the role of a hatchet man now. All he's trying to do is ruffle up Antoine's feathers. You see him trying to get physical with him, stay in body contact. That time he pushes him. And when the pass over the top, Antoine goes to the line again. This is the first of two. So he's one of three from the stripe here tonight. There is 14 points. The lone Cavalier in double figure scoring so far. And San Antonio has one as well, and that's Ginobili with 23. And that's the part of the game that the Cavaliers are missing right now. It's finding other people to score with LeBron out of the game. Because LeBron comes up with so many double teams and so many great assists that the other guys have to learn how to create their own shots now. Spurs have had trouble beating teams without their stars this season. They lost to Denver without Carmelo, Lakers without Kobe, Portland without Roy. Shot was challenged by J.J. Hickson. Good defense in the low post. Here comes Anthony Parker attacking quarter. again. Flips the scores. Tough little shot on the run. Right. Looking for his shot. I've always said A.P. needs to look to shoot the ball more from the two positions. Nobody ever had to tell you that, did they? No, no. They had to tell me to stop shooting. <laughs> They would have sent you emails if they were alive. 40 
47-46. Hill off the bounce. Nope. Missed it. Rebound to Duncan. He may go back up with it. Instead, the short corner pass. Here comes Hill. Jamison on him. On a switch. Duncan. Wants it. Deflection by Delonte West. Moose into the hole. Was able to finish it off. And he'll go to the free throw line looking for the Edwards. Yeah, that was a good move. He finally got an opportunity to get inside because he wasn't looking for that. He was looking for Duncan. And then all of a sudden, he puts the ball on the floor to his right side. He gets the bump. He goes to the line. Opportunity for a three-point play. He missed it. Remember, Mason had four game-winning shots for these guys last year. It was the dub Big Shot Raj. <laughs> kind of similar to Big Shot Bob with the uh, Robert Ory nickname inside. Jamison, no. 48-47, Spurs by one with it. Under a minute to play here in the half. the battle with Hickson. Duncan with eight first half points so far. All committed to double back from Mason. His shot just not there tonight. Well, he's not big, big shot this year. Up top. Knocked away. Jefferson saw it coming. Here comes Hill. Dangerous in the open floor. Gets inside. George Hill with ten. Turning the ball over. And a 20 second timeout for Mike Brown's crew. As the Cavaliers now fall behind by three. Gaz with their ninth turnover here tonight as the Spurs have seven. The Spurs come into the ball game in the seventh position in the West. And now without Tony Parker for the rest of the regular season, it's going to be tough on those guys to get home court in the first round of the NBA playoffs. And again, I mentioned earlier, they've had 10 straight seasons of it, at least 53 wins, and right now on the pace to win 49. But uh, a whole host of teams. I mean, if the Spurs don't get AC, one of those top four spots, I guess they could. But what did you see them doing in the first round against Denver or Utah or Dallas? Or, uh, Thank you, first round. Really, like last year. Yeah, the first round, yeah. mm -hmm. They know it. They know they get, that's why they're playing like they're playing. They're trying to get that first round by. Uh, well, actually, first round home court situation because they know the teams that they have to play, they're not going to be able to beat them in the seven game series. And the thought was with the addition of Richard Jefferson, I thought it too, that this team was going to be primed to challenge the Lakers for Western supremacy. But it just hasn't happened this year. They've been, fought the injury bug, but Jefferson still is trying to get comfortable as a member of the Spurs, and it just hasn't happened so far. He's averaging 12 points a game. Well, I just think he's an open court player. He's not a half court guy, and you have to be a half court guy. You got to do the mix with Popovich. You got to be able to run your plays, and so you got to play both ways with him. Here comes Mo. On to give up to Parker. The pull up. And it goes. So AP's done a very good job tonight off the bounce. He's hit all three of his shots for six points. And Joe Crawford says, hang on right here. We got a foul. Tim Duncan is lobbying for a shooting foul. It doesn't matter anyway since the Cavaliers are in the penalty. And Mike Brown says, what did he do? Oh, man. Ugh. He didn't, didn't have anywhere to go. Oh, no. He had nowhere to go with the ball. He had that uh, forearm working, too. I mean, Mo, Mo had the out of bounds as his uh, partner that time. So the defender, the offensive player, had nowhere to go with the ball. So, I mean, and, and he extended that arm. That should have been a call against uh, San Antonio. Hill makes both. So the Cavs have a second and a half here. They're trying to get it down the floor. Never hit one at Oklahoma City. Well, outside the touch line, but that closes two quarters of basketball in a game that went back and forth. And again, All right, there you go. First half in the books. Very interesting. Here's two teams without star players. Continue to be aggressive and continue to attack. I've had the time of my life, Mark. <laughs> nice job. That'll do it for the Dirty Dancing T-Mobile halftime report. Let's get you back out to the game. Fred McLeod, Austin Carr with the call. Jake.
J. Hickson, Antoine Jamison, Anthony Parker. Parker on the give up. Five on the shot clock. Oh, has to create something. It's off the dribble. Spins out to McDonough. Duncan down the floor, picked up by Jamison this time. The old right to Duncan. Stripped by Jamison. Good deep. Good defense by Jamison on the big fell in the low post. So now Mo will run a play. Two man game. It starts with Hickson. Ball swing to Jamison. Missed that three trap. San Antonio has Hill in the backcourt with Bogans, Big Dice, Ginobili, and Duncan. Big Dice out high. And he hit it. Antonio McDice. Antonio McDice gets his first field goal tonight. He, too, like Jefferson, has had to adjust to playing in the San Antonio system, which he says is entirely different than Detroit's. Here comes J.J. Stripped by Bogans. Get all action. Big dice. Two straight hoops. That yeah, looks like they're picking pop. Cavaliers having a tough time now just dealing with simple basketball plays. And as a result, Mike Brown has called a timeout here as the Spurs come out and hit the first couple of hoops, courtesy of Antonio McDice. And they have the biggest lead of the ball game. It is seven right now. Early stages at quarter number three. Sands LeBron James, Cavaliers, back in a moment with the basketball. Oh, yes. He wanted the best power forward ever to put on the uniform. Antoine Jamison had that shot contested. See, right now the Cavaliers are just selling for the outside shot. There's nobody in rebounding position or anything. And then defensively, they're having trouble guarding just a little simple pick and roll. Mike Dice couldn't get the third one in the row to fall. And J.J. Hickson chipped that rebound out of him. J.J. in deep. Got Mike Dice off the floor. What did he get there, partner? We got him a bird. I thought you might say that. Yeah, but the Cavaliers have to, their energy level has to pick up, especially on defense. They came out the game with this good energy. Now they've settled into sort of like the war is me attitude. J.J. with a nice head fake, gets him a bird. Cavaliers get the ball back. Alabama bird. That is Jamison, and they give up. Good catch by J.J. Strong, and he finishes. A nice pick and roll close to the basket. He didn't have to put it on the floor. So Hickson has eight points in that duel with Duncan. Duncan also with eight points. But this is the side of Florida they have to go. Right now, San Antonio, they're letting San Antonio control how they're defending. I mean, right there. I mean, instead of forcing him to give the ball up, they're letting him just move right into a shot and take a comfortable shot. You got to make him just put the ball on the floor and do something with it. Boys, puts it up and hits against Joe Kim. Mo's got ten. The problem has been Ginobili with his 26 points. He's knocked down five of six triple tries. 59-53 Spurs. You can't let him be a one-man wrecking show. Ginobili flared out, missed it. Rebound to JJ. And they got lucky that time. It was a wide open look. Here comes Mo on the crossover inside to Jamison. Penetration. Good penetration by Mo to force the defense to have to come to him. Nice easy layup for Antoine. He attacked early in the shot clock, 59-55. Cavs have 14 fast break points here tonight, which is a good number. Antoine now drew a double team for Mo. Backside broken. Can live with that. Ball tipped up by Duncan on a hold. It's going to be a foul on JJ. Cavaliers on ball number 21. JJ Nixon. His second first. Duncan so crafty in there off the glass, obviously. Yes, and then Mo doing a good job of penetrating. Nice crossover dribble. Nice move to draw Blair to him. And then once he draws, I mean, um, make dice to him. And then he does a good job of getting inside for the layup. Ginobili came off a baseline screen, picked up by Jamison. See if he attacks Parker front of the post. So Give him the left the side. Ginobili. To Hill. George Hill missed it. Rebound in traffic to Hickson. Cavaliers did a good job of forcing somebody else to take the shot. Well, changing gears, had that teardrop shot blocked by Duncan. Here comes Hill on the push to Bogans. Back to Hill. Out of control, but he was fouled. They say a trip. Yes. Called by Zach Sharper. 
You see, all, all, this, all that's happening now is the Spurs are just taking their time and they are taking advantage of situations against the Cavaliers, forcing them to have to guard the pick and roll, forcing them to have to make shots attacking the basket, and they are defending pretty good at the basket and then fast breaking against turnovers. So Hill at the line misses the first of two as a starter for Parker this year and last year averaging about 16 points a game. Hey, don't forget, Ian Miller takes you behind the scenes for an in-depth look at the Cavs on Aaron's Cavaliers in the pit. Tuesdays at 6 on Fox Sports Ohio. LeBron getting six days of rest as it turned out as Mike had looked at the schedule, saw the opportunity with a back-to-back -back in Milwaukee just, just to rest it because he's... Uh, Obviously turned up the minutes, especially, and it really started with the absences of Mo Williams and Delonte West, and he's been averaging about 40 minutes a game in that stretch. There's Antoine Jameson now being attended to by athletic trainer Max Benton, who's been a busy man on the bench tonight. Mo, some skates missed it. The rebound, back tap by Verishaw. Right back to Mo, goes to work inside of the school. And that's what I like to see with Mo. Be aggressive. Look to attack the basket. Now your jump shot will come to you, but please be aggressive. Most of you to ask, please. <laughs> Here comes McDice. Verishaw went flying at him. JJ again. Knocked that rebound away. Kevin is with a chance to tie and take the lead. Mo for the lead. Ends up. So that, that's his shot. I will not love to see him do that. He's the aggressor. That's the shot he expects to make. Drop off to Duncan and a classic pick and roll. And they have been eating the Cavaliers up tonight with this classic pick and roll. Either pick and pop or pick and roll to the roof. 61 57. Of course, Parker runs it with precision for them, but he's out for the rest of the regular season with that fractured hand. Parker kept that possession alive, but Duncan is like a bulldog. Staying after Parker. His persistence pays off as he draws the whistle. Staying aggressive, going after it, not letting the defense control you. Antoine limping off there. Let's hope it's nothing serious. We'll get an update from the Cavaliers and Jeff Phelps as soon as we can. Boy, just coming in waves. It seems like once it started now, everything is starting to, to, to break down. But the um, Cavaliers, though, they still have to keep ticking here. They have to find somebody to step up and play big. Well, it becomes a season of attrition for all 30 NBA clubs, especially at this time of the year. Hey, looking for hard to get seats to upcoming Cavs games? Then go to Cavs.FlashSeats.com, the only official secondary ticketing market of the Cavaliers. As Cavs approved, fast, and tickets are available anytime, right up until tip-off. That's Cavs.FlashSeats.com. 61-59 is that advantage for San Antonio. George Hill off the screen. Mo Williams fought through. Duncan reset it. McDyce faces, missed it, rebound to Mo Williams, McDyce's shot has not been on here tonight, despite those two earlier makes, he's two for seven. And those are his pet shots too, the Cavaliers are getting a break with him not making it. J.J. Treble, third time he's got caught with that violation here tonight. They're just making his uh, mind up to make the move before he... Attacks and basically, yeah, because he's he's so set on making one move all the time that if it's not there, it, he's thrown off. So he's got to add some more moves to his repertoire so he can be able to adjust to each situation that happens to him. Ginobili probing now. JJ picks him up on a switch. Ginobili to the hole on the give up. George Hill he worked on that so shot incessantly from the corner at his old high school in Indianapolis and showing the fruits of that labor 64-59. Just simple little basketball and the, and the Spurs are keeping control of the game just by execution. Here comes Juwan backing down both. 6-9 over 6-5 and Juwan beautifully knocked it down. You can see him start to be aggressive himself. He came out a little bit Tentative the last game. He seems to be a little more looking for his attempts now. 64-61. Hill has been a handful here tonight. He's got 16. Suffice to say so as you know. Missed a three ball. And a rebound to J.J. Hicks. A -D -A 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 -P did a good job of guarding him on that left side. And he wouldn't let him take that quick jab step. And he ended up trying to shoot a jump shot over the top. Perfect. 
Well, as Juwan Williams get into the back down mode again. Faces this time. Hit it again. Two, two in a row for Juwan Williams. Well, Bogut is supposed to be a defensive stopper. Come on. Not stopping Juwan. Juwan is putting him in the office and going to work. Back to back buckets for the St. Ed's Eagle. And so the Cavaliers creep back within one at 64 63. And they're doing a good job of taking advantage of a size advantage. Mr. Bogut is supposed to be the defensive stopper. percentage and Mike Brown getting caught up with Tim Duncan and previously they have never been worse than third under Popovich in opponents points per game so a lot of new faces still learning the Popovich system it's taken some time Duncan throws out somehow he got the shooter's box that's not supposed to happen on the road is it <laughs> no not supposed to happen but nice soft touch by Duncan that's why the Hall of Famer is who he is 66-63. I don't know if uh, Tim Duncan said, Coach Brown, next time I get the ball, you're going to see I still have soft hands. Here comes Juwan Williams. Fire. Oh, hot Juwan Williams. He is it. Three in a row. 66-65. Doing a good job of taking advantage of it. Now he has to defend his attention. Now it's time to put the ball on the floor and take him inside. Four minutes to play now in this third quarter. Roger Mason on the baseline, guarded by Delonte West. Both of those guys checking in at the timeout. Jump down to Duncan. Through a double team, a hard track by Mo Williams. Hill has to oh my fire and hit a tough shot. George Hill has been a tremendous asset for the Spurs tonight with 18. He averages about 12 points a game. Well, whoever's guarding has got to stay on him now. You can't let him have shots like that. Williams. Is hit three in a row. That was contested by Bogut. Rebound to Verizon. Inside, Joan Williams to the finish and a foul. Cavaliers doing a good job ending. It makes it all happen by giving the Cavaliers a second chance opportunity. And Jawad, nice move by Jawad not to go down the floor. He recognizes it, pass that driving lane, gets inside, uses a nice little slip move here over Duncan. Opportunity for a very important three-point play to tie the game up. It looked like Anderson Verge out there. Yeah, he sure did. <laughs> and Jawad not able to get the end one, but he has scored eight points says Tom Bushenik in a span of two minutes. Cameron's within one. Hill on the hard drive. Boy, he has been a load, hasn't he? George Hill will get to the free throw line. Like Popovich in training camp. Kiddingly called Third Hill my favorite scorer. player, but he, he meant part of it in seriousness. He loves his game. We're able to get the dribble penetration inside. With two shots. Low George bumps Hill. him that time. Goes in the line, two shots. you got to keep him out of that dribble penetration mode. It was a great draft pick by Popovich and company as they made him a first-round pick. 26 selection in 08. Hey, the Cavaliers Renewal Prize Patrol giving season ticket holders a chance to win 30 prizes in 30 days. Renew today and you can win the chance to golf with Cavalier Legends and Little Mountain. Visit Cavs.com slash MVP for info and contest rules. 70, 67, Cavs down three as they go back to work. The Cavs trying to play off of They put a different defender on Jawad now. Short, short, Jawad Williams comes up short over Jefferson. Here comes Hill, keeping the dribble alive. Dunk with Jawad in his shirt. Bottom, put it on the deck, trying to get to the hole. And somehow he scored with off table. Boy, they're just, they're just nickel and diamond, the Cavaliers now. They're not doing anything fancy. They're just out, out executing right now. Here comes Herrera on the block. The hook doesn't go. Cavaliers gone to his home spell now. Now is the time where you have to use your defense to keep in the ball game. Both teams shooting 49% for the floor. Mason in the give up. That's Duncan. And a whistle and a foul on Anderson Herrera. Let's go back to Jeff Phelps. Unfortunately, guys, we have seen the last of Antoine Jameson for the night. The back of his injured knee stiffened up just a little bit. Doctors recommend icing it down right now, shutting him down for the night, and reassessing the situation tomorrow. Well, it was amazing how those ailments come in waves. As you just got to fight through it. 
Oh, my ground going deeper into the bench. Number 20, Manuel Gallo. Checks in Daniel Gibson as well. And on to your Cavaliers. Antoine's night is done with 17 points. Well, the, the Cavaliers have sort of hung their hat on the fact that they're deep personnel wise. Now it's time for that deep personnel to step up and keep the, the ball rolling. Duncan missed on the second free throw attempt. He's a career 69%. Really, the only blemish on his resume. Daniel Gibson now running some point. Delonte playing the off guard in this set. There's a shot to show him. Got lost Duncan. And Andy will shoot a couple. He sold it big time against the premier defender in Duncan. We did a good job using the up fake to get around Duncan. And then the Barner comes in from the backside for the foul. But nice up fake. Gets inside. Barner trying to defend. At the line with two shots. Anderson. Two shots for Andy. Cavaliers have to get back into a good offensive rhythm. Some, somehow, some way. Third foul assessed to Barner. As Anderson has one more coming. Number 45, Dewan Cavs at the line tonight, 67%. They are 10 of 15. Duncan gets a blow. Greg Popovich has said recently he's going to sit down Tim Duncan in some back-to-back -back scenarios to rest his star. He was at the age of 33, and Mike Brown was saying, hey, i, I got to admit it, I learned it from Greg Popovich. Do the same as I'm doing right now with LBJ. It is face very shot. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Here comes Roger Mason looking for a shot. Had to give it up. Stolen by Jamario Moose. Good defense by the Cavaliers. Did not give him any driving lanes or passing lanes on that possession. Delonte dancing. The pull up does not go. A rebound to San Antonio. They just can't get a basket to go in. They need to get some type of offensive momentum here. You know, but behind the back to Blair. Who travels? Uh, it's a travel. That's what Blair has learned to look for from Ginobili. Passes from all kind of angles. He was ready, but then in his eagerness to score, he shuffled the shoot. Yeah, he was a little anxious. He wanted that ball. He, he, when you feel that open position, you want the ball now so you can take advantage of it. The step back goes with a soft touch. Good move by Delonte. They got him a little man inside. Took him down inside for the shot. 73-70. Under a minute to play in the third quarter. Blair is matched up with Verge. Ginobili gave it up backside. Look out, Bonner for three. And he missed. Three. Matt Bonner. Matt Bonner. Again, they are uh, nickel and dime in the Cavaliers. It's about execution now. They have a two-possession lead, and all they're doing each time down the floor is making sure they get a good shot. Spurs have knocked down seven triples here tonight. Fifth best shooting team in the league percentage-wise outside the arc. Delonte went opposite hand, created space, missed it. Rebound, Hicks and back up down, and a foul. Was there a foul? No. But a bucket anyway, as J.J. on the completion has 10. <laughs> Everybody stopped like it would be a foul. Yep. Bonner even stopped. He, like, he thought it was a foul. But no foul. J.J. gets a nice second chance opportunity. Thanks for covering my back, partner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there with Matt Bonner. <laughs> I thought it was a foul. Yeah, it sounded like it was, yeah. I heard a whistle. Only Collins could hear it as Ginobili missed the shot. And that will finish. Three quarters of basketball here at the Cube, and J.J. with the hustle. A bucket the Cavaliers had to earn the hard way. It's going to take defense to win this ball game now in the second half. Cavaliers, though, are on a decent offensive move. they got to keep going here in the fourth quarter. 5.62, rubbing it up here. Getting the decibels pegged. For the final 12 minutes. And this is the key part of the first, the fourth quarter. The first five minutes, they cannot get down by five or six possessions. They have to keep this game under control if they want to have a chance to win it at the end. They come out with Ginova, Mason, Blair, Bonner, and Jefferson. Smallish lineup out there. And Bonner, in a sense, playing the center position at 6 10. Ginova spinning into trouble. Bonner sets up, hand in the face, missed the rebound, Ginobili back up, no, but he was fouled. 
country, and those are the situations that will beat you tonight. You cannot give them second chance opportunities because it's a close ball game, and this team executes too well to give them second and third opportunities. Bonner gets to the outside, Ginobili moving without the ball, slides in, opportunity to put him up by another possession. Fourth foul on Derrigal. As the Cavaliers all pretty short-handed up front with no shack. Antoine Jameson done for the Knights. As you took our Continental Airlines three-quarter step line. Shooting is almost dead even. But the difference right now in 12 points at the three-point line. San Antonio with those seven minutes. Cavaliers outscoring them inside. As Ginobili you know, knocks down the first couple of points of this quarter. He's got 28. Juan Wood sends it. Oop, rebound to San Antonio. Jefferson, two on the line, missed it too badly. But his shooting stroke just does not look confident right now. No, he doesn't. He looks like he's thinking too much about the shot. Delonte sends it. Nope. Rebound to Blair. Now we were gone cold all of a sudden. Six point differential. Gibson west of the backcourt. Daniel with a knockaway and then a reach in foul on Ginobili as he could not avoid the contact. Spurs foul for number 20, better Ginobili. Active hands made that a whole First situation work. He did a good job of closing down the passing lane and got another foul on Ginobili. And Popovich and Dolly thinking perhaps a lazy pass, but give Gibson the credit. On the defensive side of the floor. Juan Williams, Verjao, and Moon up front for Mike Brown. In his fourth quarter starts. Ginobili stayed attached to Gibson. Good deal. West has Mason on him. Spun away. And he hit a tough shot. Well, because there's nobody else out there that can beat you off the dribble. He knows he has to be the one to do it. 78-74 as D. West has eight points. Bonner on that give up. Jefferson, you know he can get hot at a moment's notice. Bonner puts it on the wood again. Slops it up there and hits it. by Bonner. He's got nine. 874. I mean, that's a shot you wanted to take, but he knocked it down. Tip your hat to him. Delonte again to the rack. Gives it up this time. Gibson it. Sights it. For three! Big shot. The Cavaliers needed that. They needed that big time. Down to a one possession game. Cavaliers are going possession by possession. Defense has got to be there. 80, 77. Ginobili on the run. Spins it up. No. Against Verjao. Ball squirts out to Blair with his big mitts. Blocked by Moore. Somehow Blair got it to Ginobili. It was good hustle inside because they had opportunities. Cavaliers shut them down. Intensity picking up here. In crunch time. Mason on the backside. Ginobili. Created room and knocked it down again for two. What a money player he has been throughout his career. Mono Ginobili has 30. Yeah, he's been the one that's really been their catalyst tonight. Jawad Williams sends it. For three as he buried it. And Jawad comes right back. What you can do, I can do better. Jawad Williams from deep in the queue. You could sing that, couldn't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's 82-80, the Spurs with a two-point lead. Cavaliers doing a good job moving the ball. They have to find somebody other than Delonte. Gerard steps up. That's what breaks down a defense. Four Cavs in double figures tonight, including Gerard. Anthony Parker is a field goal away from that. And meanwhile, off the bench, Delonte West and Anderson Berejao is eight and nine respectively. So balanced scoring without the king here tonight. They have to somehow get it done here in a two-point deficit. Mason sends it. Missed it. Daniel Gibson was flying at him. That was just great hustle. Cavalier basketball with Daniel Gibson just flew at him. And I'm sure bothered the shot a little bit. But, and, but they got a break there because the Nobly had a point-blank layup that he missed right there. Cavaliers, things are going their way right now. There's always a caveat, is there not? <laughs> They're going to try to win these ball games down the stretch against Premier Ball Clubs, and the Spurs are still back despite their seventh place standing in the West. Cavaliers need some cuts to the basket. Delonte with the basketball. Sends it. Spins. Second time he's had that one go like that. In this ball game, 82 88 remains. Got inside, just couldn't knock it down, but that's what you want to do. Mo Williams is going to check back in at the next stoppage. 
Genova gave it up. Jefferson, good help by Gibson. Here comes George Hill. Missed it. Rebound inside Blair battling. Cavaliers won the battle, but Blair was fighting a one-man stand. They forced him off the three-point line and made him put the ball on the floor. Take him to the hoop. Delonte West does overshot it, though. Ball squirts out to the Spurs. Here comes Mason. Good idea. Just couldn't knock it down. Roger Mason guns. No. His uncomfortable shot continues. Yeah, he's shooting a lot of blanks tonight. Let's hope it continues. He's one of seven. Here comes Obi Gibson. Size it up. The defense. Here comes Moon on the crossover. Creates the shot. Nowhere near. Rebound Ginobili. You don't want to get excited now. Get the ball to the guys who, who put the ball on the floor from the outside, and you follow up with the pass, the second and third passes. The shot is there. It's Cavs have this, forced him into six straight misses. And this is the time the Cavs have to take advantage of this. It's time to make some scores now. Chance to tie or take the lead. Delonte on that dump down as they go again. On the block, Juan Williams put it up. No. Well, both teams having a tough time getting it to a more than a one possession game. As we're stuck at 82 80. There's your talk in the west of the pick and roll. George Hill in too deep to shoot. You know, they fake the pass and now oh. got another money three. Well, the Cavs had the chance. Six straight times they held them down. They could not get a point, could not get it down to an even game. Now they have to start all over again in the next six and a half minutes. Cavaliers down five. Bunch of time left on that fourth quarter clock. The Spurs now off to 44% shooting. Cavs are actually uh, having a better percentage at 46%. But again, the difference has been the three-point makes, 8-5. to five. Well, the Spurs are so good at execution, and they don't waste any mo motion. What they do is they make sure that they stretch the defense so that that pass on the weak side for the three-point shot is open. They don't rush anything. They are very deliberate and very good at executing plays, especially in their half-court operation. They are one of the best executing teams in the league. They set good picks. They take good shots. They move the ball properly. They give themselves up than they should. J.J. hooks it back out to up front with Varish Allen, Juan Williams. Mo is out there as well. As George Hill overplays him to the right. Mo Williams attacking the step back. Oops. Rebound kept up and in somehow. Somebody by Delonte West. My goodness. Delonte comes out of nowhere for the follow-up. His third rebound tonight. He's got 10 points. It's a three-point gap again. Ball now by Mo Williams, and then the pass thrown airplane. As the miscommunication with Hill on the block. And as soon as I talk about execution, what do they do? Throw the ball away. Unforced error. Mo takes the jump shot, and Delonte is moving while the ball's in the air. Nice follow-up. Good touch by Delonte. Man, I tell you, that young man can play the game of basketball. 6-3 guard, boy, with the ups. Mo Williams for the tie. In the queue. Past the halfway mark in a gritty ball game here at the queue. Toss to Duncan on the block. Verichel has the 4 5. Give up. Bonner sets it up. Missed the three ball. Here come the Cavs now, a chance to take the lead. Bogan's on Mo in this set. Now Hill picks him up. Now they're in a plug. Ticking fourth quarter clock, working our way towards five minutes to play. Drop off, Verichel inside, a bump. It's a foul. Give it to the Spurs as Bonner's going to be slow to get up. Fifth foul on Berger. Bonner slipped it in. Took one for the team that time. Put in. Bonner there. Takes it in the chest for the team. Good call. 
Yeah, he's there. Oh, yeah, but look what he did with his... You see his arms, he reached out. But the, they don't, that's the second time tonight that's happened, and the call went for the defense, not the offense. But aren't you supposed to go up? Because once you invade the uh, the airspace, I'm just yeah, asking. Right, I'm, right, not, I'm right. not complaining. Exactly. That, well, that's the rule, but they don't. They haven't called it that way twice tonight. Watch they let again. the defender invade the space. See, Bono reaching ahead. That's yeah. That that to me. Uh, that's not the rule right there. He's got to go straight out of go straight up, but they, they let him get away with that's the second time tonight. Cavs have to forget about this. But the problem is, again, Verishow now with the five foul. Here comes, you know, as Delonte digs in. Big dice against the rotational defense. Jefferson, no. Hill. The alligator on the little bit. Rebound. Foot four. Out of bounds. Joe Crawford says, I need help. Zach Sarver says, silver and black basketball. Wow. I think it did go off on the Cavaliers foot that time. Ball goes up. Good hustle by both teams. Goes out J.J. on his foot right there. We're trying to retrieve the ball. Zach Sarver was all over it from the backside. Ball kicked out of bounds by Mo. Spurs have missed nine of their last 11 shots, thus they are down to 42% shooting. Well, that's how the Cavaliers have gotten back into the ball game because they've had some defense here. They have to continue, though, now because the ball game's on the line with four and a half minutes left. Both teams missing superstars here tonight. As Jameson out as well now. In the second half, Duncan on the back down. Patiently goes, work missed it. Oh, he's normally about 90% career-wise on that kind of shot. J.J. made him have him change the angle by having to jump in the building. Made him change his angle. Mo Williams shows up at dark. Too strong. Rebound. Fought for it. You know, Ticking our way toward the fourth quarter in Sweaty Palms time here at the queue. Deep corner three. It's down hey, from George Hill. Hill. This team... They don't have the same talent level they've had in the past, but they still are a great executing team. George Hill with 23 points now as the Spurs regain a three-point margin. Delonte gets to the high screen as he attacks. Missed it. Rebound to the Spurs as they get a big-time stop. Ginobili patiently will run a play now. McDice, look out. Way wide open. Missed it. Rebound back. Tapped by Duncan Cavalier basketball. Boy, I tell you, McDice is missing a lot of his pet shots. Here comes Mo on the give up. Delonte sends it. Got it! Delonte West is feeling it now. Cavaliers have to keep him involved in the plays because he's feeling it both passing-wise and shooting-wise. Delonte a dozen points. Cavaliers creep within a point. Their last lead was 47-46 in the second quarter. Good defense. J.J. saw that pass coming. Melvin Hunt says, way to hustle, young man. Well, it was good three-quarter defense, the way you do it in the, on, in the, by the book. Eight seconds on the shot clock. A book that Greg Popovich knows so well. Heck, he probably wrote some of the chapters on yeah, how to play defense. Yes. Genova. He's looking for that shot. They close on him. Genova hoping for some rim. And the Cavaliers get the rebound. And a ball that went off Genova, at least enough, when it was on the baseline. And the Cavaliers get that possession back. Yes, the Cavaliers doing a good job of defending. They've done a super job in this fourth quarter of stopping the, the Spurs. Give me an ooh-wee, will you? Ooh-wee! <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> One Spurs and the Cavs. Let's go to Jeff Phelps, who is outside that Cavs huddle. Mike Brown telling his team, keep working on the defensive end and keep blitzing Manu. So if Ginobili gets an open shot here, guys, it's not uh, it's not by design. Certainly an accident. Ginobili so crafty with that basketball. And that's a good idea. It's been working all game. Basically, the only time he's when he scored is when you back off of him off of the pick and roll situation. Well, Landis Poole and uh, Joe Crawford conferring. As with under three minutes to play, here in the fourth quarter, as the Cavaliers again go for the lead. Crowd becoming that sixth man down the stretch, if they can. Delonte goes opposite hand. 
gets it up. Hicks had lost the basketball. Turned it off for a spur. Yes, it did. Jazz will keep it. 11 ticks on that shot clock. Catching the ball and finishing is key at this point in the game. No unforced errors. Very important. They've got Jefferson, Bonner, Duncan, Ginobili, and Hill out there. Yeah, they've had a pretty efficient second half with only two turnovers. Here comes Moe. On and drop off. Intended for Delonte West. Swipe by Ginobili as Hickson almost had it. George Hill on the run out. On the give up. Inside. Shuffling in the shoes. Richard Jefferson. Cavaliers get it back. Cavaliers get a break. Because they are attacked at the point of attack. They are there to defend. Which forced Jefferson to have to take an extra step. A nice little walk down the street. Cavaliers get the ball back. But George Hill now is prone. 20 seconds out of San Antonio. And they'll attend to the young second-year guard who has had a splendid ball game here tonight with 23 points. Yeah, he's been the other helper for Ginobili tonight. Coming down the floor, you see George Hill gives the ball up. He takes an elbow right in the... Midsection. Oh, wait a minute. Is that? Yep. Juwan Williams right there. Right there. Right in the stomach here. Yeah, you see him grabbing right there. Right. You see him grabbing it right there. He took that elbow in the ribs. I know how George Hill feels. Partner, why would you have to? <laughs> you don't want people to think I'm beating you up every game. I, we, we just get a little physical here at the scores table. That's all. Yeah, that's okay. Because it's that time of year. But I noticed you wear pads now, so you got the ribs protected. <laughs> a dead giveaway, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> don't forget to text us your comments to 37664. Then tune into Cavaliers Live post game to see your thoughts. All right, now it comes down to Cavaliers have an opportunity to take the lead here with this possession. Execute has to be, the execution has to be better than the last time they had a chance to take the lead. George Hill, a little bit tender right now. I would involve him in a pick and roll right now, especially with Barner. I try to hook those two up and see if I can maybe get a chance to get inside because of the foot speed. Yeah, Hill is still holding the ribs as he back down defensively against Delonte West. Indeed, Delonte attacking, created space. Got it off the rubber rim, and the Cavaliers go in front. Delonte, so efficient when he takes you to the office. Down in that office, he steps back, pull back, baby, for two. Two minutes to play in the fourth quarter, an 89-88 affair. Here comes Bonner, 12 on the shot clock, pass behind Ginobili. Delonte. Tightens the screws defensively. Ginobili sends it for three. It's off. Rebound into the lap of J.J. Hickson. They did not let him go to his left. Good solid defense by Delonte. 143 to play as the Cavaliers lead 89-88. Need execution here. A basket here is huge. Shot clock shows 10 seconds on it. Ginobili pries it loose. J.J. in the loose basketball. Somehow the Spurs come up with it. It was all Ginobili. Down the floor, Richard Jefferson. Spurs go back in front. He just overpowered Gerard in that post-up position. Good move by Ginobili. First field goal for Richard Jefferson tonight. 90-89 is our score. The Cavaliers are down one. 90-89. They need execution here, which means make the shot. Ten seconds on that shot clock. Hill's doing a good job of keeping Delonte away from the ball. J.J. hops inside and a foul on the attack as Tim Duncan thought he got all ball and J.J. says, yes, I earned two free throws. And this is where J.J.'s ability to put the ball on the floor with that one bounce and power to the basket comes in handy. Powers to the hoop there, draws the foul, opportunity to put the Cavs ahead by one. Reaching foul on Ginobili. Cavaliers, by the way, at the other end do have a foul to give. As JJ pops in the first. Big, big shot now, and let's make this one and then defend. Now for the lead. As pressurized free throws as JJ Hickson has shot as a Cavalier. Looking for his 12th. 91 9. Good shot by JJ. He stays true to his. His system there, straight up through his shoulders, knock it down. Cavaliers need defense now. Under a minute to play here in the fourth. Can the Cavaliers hang on? Oh. Stolen by Delonte West, and he was fouled by Ginobili. <laughs> D 
Delonte West, what can you say? He can play defense. He can play offense. He can slide through the play. He gets over the top of the defense that time. Frustrates Ginobili. Ginobili commits a senseless foul. Cavaliers have an opportunity to go up by three. And LeBron James says, give me a hat. I'm nervous. Anybody's hat. Delonte at the line is a given quiet now. D. West doing a little bit of everything. Something that Ginobili is, of course, used to doing. Delonte West, I tell you, if I'm going to war, I'm going to make sure that young man is with me. He is what you call a gamer. Yes, he is. Now I see how him and Nelson did so well in college. You put those two guys in the backcourt, you got a, a lot of trouble on your hands. That's why they went 27-0, those St. Joe's Hawks, with Jameer Nelson and Delonte in that backcourt tandem. Now for a three-point lead. Well, think about it. He came up with a big uh, follow-up shot down at the other end, and then he came up with a big defensive play here to put the Cavaliers up by three with 52 seconds left. 93-90. Crowd roaring its approvals. Jamario Moon checks in now. Delonte digs in and a hand foul, but again, keep in mind they had one to give. Yes. 44.7 to go as the King can only pace right now. But but that was the proper defensive move. Make him put it on the floor with his right hand. Got to be driving LeBron crazy right now as he is only a spectator. He, went, ooh, he got back to that left side. Hill again. Look out. No, he missed it. Rebound to Hill. A tap. Mason fires. No. Rebound back tap to the timeline. Jefferson saves. Oh, man. San Antonio another chance now. Wow. Greg Popovich calls timeout. Says the Cavaliers dodge two bullets. Oh, but are going to have to dodge yet another. <laughs> What does it take to beat this team? Another stop. Man, another stop. Cavaliers get two stops in one possession. Denobi doing a good job of getting back to that left side, which opens up the play for Hill. Hill shoots a real brick under the basket. They come back. Mason shoots a half brick this time. They still get the ball back. An opportunity to do damage here with tie the game up. Big shot Rod was not able to get it to go. And remember last year, he had four... Big-time game-winning shots. Yes, what a difference in, in a year. <laughs> he just went from big shot to no shot right this moment. Let's hope he continues that way right now. And offensive rebounds have been a story for the Spurs here tonight as they've corralled 13 of them for second-chance opportunities. As a result, they've taken five more shots in the Cavs from the floor. All right, what do you expect here, partner? Well, I expect San Antonio to use the nobly to try to penetrate and tick it out if he doesn't have the jump shot right off a pick from out of bounds. 20,562 leather lungs. Looking for one more one and gold stop. Greg Popovich with some last minute instructions to his crew. As you see, the Spurs in this quarter have gone dry, 21%. you got to give the Cavaliers a lot of credit defensively. Well, they are, they are playing to who they are, which is the defensive team first. Mason, Ginobili, Jefferson, all with three-point ability. Ditto Hill out there with Duncan. Juwan Williams is on Jefferson. Hill defended by Moon. Delonte now switches out. Moon on Ginobili. Dangerous three-point shooter, we know. Sends it. Ginobili. Oh, a gunslinger. You have to be kidding me, triple. Mono Ginobili. Now they're going to look at it to see if indeed it was a two or a three. Behind the line. It may be a two. It looked like he was behind the line because he had to step back to take the shot. Let's see if he take a better look here. Foots on the line. Good call. Foots on the line. That's the same thing happened to Kobe yesterday. Exact same thing. But the officials have the ability to look at those shots. Three or two. That rule instituted a year ago. 
And Manu Ginobili is not going to like the results. No, he's not. But that exact same thing happened to Kobe yesterday. He made the shot there that would have tied the game up, but it counted as a two, and, the, and, and the Orlando was able to go on to win the ball game. It's a two. Joe Crawford has officially signaled it. We'll look at it again. The crowd now realizing it's a two instead of a three. There it is. The, the old toe is on the line. Cavaliers get a huge break. And then Ginobili looking at it himself. Oh, he says. Yes. If I'd have brought a, another pair of shoes that were a half size shorter. <laughs> All right, now Cavaliers is going to be a free throw shooting contest from here on out. But look at the brilliance of Manu Ginobili here tonight. Well, that was a great shot he made there. Oh. Great shot he made there. He almost couldn't see the basket. It was right in our angle here. And when the defenders were on him, you couldn't really see the basket. Yeah, when he took it, let it go. I thought, great defense. You, right. You'll live with that. And he knocked it and, down. And then the next thing you see, the strings are popping. Delonte West has been big down the stretch for his 16 points. And that started the whole rally for the Cavaliers. That follow-up right there. He's been doing a great job here in the second half of defending Ginobili. Also, step back in the office and knock it down. Come down, step back in the office and knock it down. Doing a good job of taking people inside. And then there was the key defensive player of the game that the Cavaliers can pull it out. Obviously, Anthony Parker, a good free throw. You know what Mo is. Delonte West is a crunch time free thrower, 81% for the season. Jawad Williams is out there as well. He's a 78 percenter. And Daniel Gibson, the fifth member of the Kevlar cast. Mo says, come foul me if you want. Get rid of it. They trap him. He's got to be careful. And a reach-in foul finally comes with nine seconds left as Mo is hurting. It goes back to that left hand earlier that was stung in the first half. But he had a chance to get the ball to Lante, who was by himself. You want time to go off the clock. Get rid of the ball. Right here, there's three guys, two guys on him. Delonte was open. On, there's a AP. Well, he had a guy on him. But Delonte was open on the opposite side of the floor right there. Mo Williams at 89% free throw. A couple of gulps of air. His first free throws tonight. Well, if he makes both of these, that really puts a lot of pressure on San Antonio. Got it! 94-92. Good guys. The Spurs know it's still a one-possession game, miss or make. And the key, with all their three-point shooting ability, you want to make sure you make this free throw. Spurs have one timeout left. It's a full timeout as Mark with a huge freebie coming up now for a three-point lead. 95-92. Perfect, perfect. Mo steps up big time. Oblivious to the pressure. And the pain in his fingers, you can tell. He's wincing a little bit. That pain hurts. But Mo steps up big time to the line to knock two crucial free throws down. And he took personally that loss in Milwaukee the other night. He felt so horrible about his shooting percentage. In fact, he sent out the tweet to all those who follow him on Twitter saying, basically, I'm sorry for how I played. Stick with me. And here tonight, he has responded big time with 17 points, 7 of 16 from the floor, fighting through a stinger right now on that hand. Plus, he's got 8 rebounds and 8 assists. You're right. He's almost a triple-double, so Mo has stepped up big and played a great floor game tonight. Stay tuned. Following the ball game for Kevlar's Live, presented by Conrad's Tire Express and Total Car Care. Mike Brown will break it down against his mentor, Greg Popovich, will be in the locker room as well. But can the Cavaliers hang on with nine precious ticks left? The Cavaliers have done a good job without having Shaq, LeBron, Jameson out of the game. The last um, 20 minutes or so, they have outscored San Antonio 40 to 31. So back on the floor come Hill, Ginobili, Mason, Duncan. You cannot give up the three-point shot. You have to chase him off that line. Delonte West, Jamario Moore, Juwan Williams, Vanderson.
Carson Harris now Anthony Parker. The defensive five out there for Mike Brown. Imploring his guys to get one final stop. The all that is you don't let the, the man beat you that's supposed to beat you. Let him stay below. Mason, look out. Mason rips it out. No. Rebound. Berge. He's got the gift of grab. Pulling down the rebound with 2.4 to go. What did you call Mason last season? Big shot right. Big shot rod is low shot rod now. Has not hit one of the shots in them. He's worn a bagel outside the three-point line. <laughs> 0 for 8 tonight. They, they did a good job of setting him up. But his jump shot is just not there tonight. Cavaliers going to break good defense by Moon to defend the three-point shot. So Anderson Verajak just needs at least one to put him away. Got it! Yeah. 96-92. This is called a gut win here. The Cavaliers have gutted this out without LeBron, without Shaq, and now Jameson down. This was a gut win. This shows you how deep they really are as a team. They have guys who can get the job done once they get used to playing out there. Ginobili runs out of time, and the Cavaliers come up with a whining goal winner. As Mike Brown and Greg Popovich probably don't look forward to these meetings because they have so...